Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonmoon.com and today I am doing a really fun collaboration. Christina from the DIY Mommy invited me and several other YouTubers to make over a thrifted, antique, dumpster, whatever, find of furniture. As part of this, we are also doing a fundraiser for Habitat for Humanity. There will be a donate button, so you can check out the details on that below this video. Also, make sure after you're done watching my thrifted chair makeover that you go watch all of the other furniture flips. There are so many good ones. You're gonna be very inspired. If you have a low budget, but you want to have a beautiful home, and let's face it, even if you don't have a low budget, you probably love a good deal. Me personally, if something's free, it's just more beautiful or cheap. And so make sure to check out that playlist and get tons of beautiful thrifted furniture inspiration. So I actually found this chair long before Christina reached out to me about this collaboration. I saw it on Facebook Marketplace. It was somebody who was moving. She had, I believe, three chairs that I ended up taking and they just wanted them gone. They already had, they had price tags on them so I think they'd already tried to sell them at a garage sale or something and they just needed them gone because they needed to move. I got all three of them for free. So I went and got them ASAP and it's been sitting in the barn ever since. And Luke, when I, when I brought it home, he kind of laughed because that would be something I would do is get another chair when I have a million other projects. Well, it turns out that when Christina reached out about this video, I knew exactly what I would tackle. And so it made for a good content idea, collaboration, perfect opportunity to use my chair. Now, I actually loved the fabric that it came with. I liked the little embroidery and the detail, but as you can see in the before, definitely wasn't going to work. There was rips and holes and it just had seen better days, but the gorgeous woodwork on the bottom of the chair made it really something special and something to give a little effort to. Now, if you've never reupholstered a chair, the process is really not intimidating. I know I've done projects like this on this channel before and I've been told that I don't do it the right way, but to me, here's the thing. If it works and it's pretty and it lasts, then it really doesn't matter how you do it. So that's just my philosophy. So what I did for this chair is first I ripped off the old trim. Now when I first started ripping it off, I was trying to save it, but it was unraveling and it just wasn't going to work. So I just threw it away. And then next I ripped off the oval piece on the back and I really tried my best to not rip it at all, if not just a little bit, because I needed it for the pattern piece. I repeated that same process with the seat and saved the two pieces for pattern pieces. Now the next decision was fabric. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Originally I was thinking like a velvety or something, but then I just went back to old predictable like I seem to always do and reach for stripes and blue. I just, I love all that. So I had a large amount of this blue and white fabric in my sewing cabinet that I found, I believe at a thrift shop. I know wherever I found it, it was either a thrift shop or an antique shop, super cheap, maybe like a couple dollars for all of it and I never really had a reason for it. I just knew that it's a pretty fabric. I will eventually use this. So I used that on the seat by just cutting the exact same size as the one that had been there previously. And then for the top, I decided to do a linen, which I also keep on hand. And then I wanted to add a little touch of embroidery. I still have my embroidery machine from my sewing business that I used to run years ago but I haven't really used it much in this house at all. I think I used it one time, a friend came over and wanted to personalize something. It was either Easter baskets or stockings, I can't remember. That's it. And so I was like, do I even remember how to use this thing? I went on Etsy and found, I searched antique digital stitch file or antique inspired digital stitch file. Several results came up. I wanted it to look like vintage cross stitch embroidery, but without me actually having to do that. So I just uploaded that into my sewing machine, let it stitch out. Now the ending result wasn't very big. I wish it could have been bigger, but my hoop that I was using wasn't very big and I just didn't really have time to troubleshoot it very much. 
So the ending pattern is a bit small and I also could have maybe done a border pattern, but I still think the concept worked in that it did give it a little bit of a vintage cross stitch vibe, which was perfect. Next, I just added those pieces to the chair in the back and stapled them on. After that, I added the trim. Now, I just found a trim I liked over at Joann's Fabric, got several yards of it, and I used a stitch glue. So it's it's supposed to work like stitching. Apparently, it's even washable, which I'll obviously never wash this chair, but I wanted to give it a shot, uh, and it worked great. After it sat a while, it got really hard. I really don't think that it's going anywhere. Now, the proper way to do upholstery is to use upholstery tacks but I just use a staple gun and then I use the glue and the trim to cover all of my mistakes. It ends up looking really pretty and I think it looks really good in this cottage. So make sure to check out my cottage Christmas decor video. That is the first place that this chair is being featured and it really fits in perfectly. I didn't necessarily think the two things through like, oh, I'm gonna make the cottage kind of a green and blue Christmas, so then the chair will fit. It just worked out. So, very happy with how it turned out. Make sure to go check out all the other flip furniture DIYs in this playlist, and check out the Habitat for Humanity fundraiser. Thanks again to Christina from the DIY Mommy for hosting this. I'm so glad to join these other DIY YouTubers in this furniture flip. Hope that was inspiring for you. If you're brand new to my channel, for one of the other channels, thank you so much for watching this. Make sure to hit subscribe. I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. We live in an 1860s Victorian farmhouse. We have a cow, goats, cats, chickens. I share all of it on my channel, so I would love to have you following along with that. We also share the restoration journey of our farmhouse, so if any of that interests you, come along and hit subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.